there Toy Notes shoppers, welcome back. I'm Kelsey with ToyNotes.com and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out my recent video on the Osmo starter kit for iPad because this goes with that. So guys, today I get to review the Osmo coating with Obby. Now this is going to go with your iPad and the already established Osmo starter kit. Um, this is just an additional game and I kind of wanted to review it separately for you guys that way we had a little bit of time to explore this game fully. So it's going to be pretty easy to unbox if it's anything like the Osmo game. If you haven't seen that video yet, you probably should watch it. That way this makes sense. Um, again, this works with iPad and it does not include the starter kit, so you're going to have to make sure you have that first. It says it's made for iPads 2 through 4, iPad Air iPad mini and iPad mini retina and the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. So those are the devices that this works with. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box and then we'll play with it today. So we have the Osmo coding kit all unboxed. Um, it's very similar to the starter base in um, how everything's packaged. It's easy to open. Um, I've got lots of little directional pieces here, numbers, a play button. Um, so it's going to probably take some instructions and using the app to help me learn how to play this game. But I'm going to bring you guys in for a closer look. That way we can learn together. Okay guys, so I have my iPad Air in the base, the Osmo base that comes with the starter kit I just did reviews for for you guys, so take a look at that. And today we're playing the coding game. So this is Osmo coding all out of its box. Now when you open it all up, you're going to have several little pieces that are all stuck together via magnets. See that? How many pull out of there? And then this little play button. Oop, come out of there. Okay. Now you're going to have to go to playosmo.com slash start in order to get started with this, configure everything, and download the coding app. Now there's great videos on there showing how to set everything up um, and then how to play coding with Obby, which is the lead character of this game. Now I've got that app already on my iPad, so we're going to click into it and open it up. And this little guy here is Obby. He's turned around right now. But we're going to go back, see if we can go to main menu. Okay, so coding with Obby, this is the main screen. Now each person in the family can set up their own profile and play. I'm in mine. I'm going to say let's play and as you go you get these little seeds like that that you can plant and then you get more points for that. So over here this says let's go to our strawberry munching adventure. I've already passed level one. Level two is where I'm at right now. All right and takes me back to where I was. Now the way the coding part works we're going to have to bring you guys looking down just a little bit more. Okay, so now that you guys are looking down a little bit more, you can see all the pieces. Now, notice how these have like symbols. Okay, walking, down, walking, left, that sort of thing. Well, these are turnable as well, so they can be changed if needed. But what they do is they give commands to Obby. So if I want Obby to go back down two spaces, I'm going to say, I'm going to turn this, and then I'm going to put the number two next to it. And these will hook together magnetically. Now the play button's where all the magic happens. So I'm going to hook my play button to it. So now you can see my running man down two spaces and I'm going to push play. See Abby responding? See that? So that's how you play this game. Um, it has numbers two through five. 
there's all kinds of moving pieces, hand motion pieces, jumping pieces, you name it, Abby can do it. So the great part is, is that you can say, okay, I want him to turn right now, one space. And then he moves appropriately. One more space, Abby. Great. Now he can't cross water unless there's a lily pad there. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take this piece and dial it down. And then I've got one, two, three spaces. So I'm gonna locate, there's a number one, and there's my number three. So I'm gonna say, okay, one, two, three spaces. Oh, and then he's gonna be able to go this way. Now these were strawberries. I've kind of already played ahead of this game. So he's eaten these strawberries and there's just the jam left. So after he goes down three spaces, I want him to turn left. So I'm gonna turn this to the left and I'd like him to go left two spaces. Oop, wrong order. So the first one that you want him to do goes on top, the second one on bottom. There you go. And you see how it's kind of highlighting the path? It says, okay, the coding that I'm seeing says I'm gonna go down three spaces and then I'm gonna go over two. Is that what you want? Yes, it is. So I'm gonna push play and watch it work. See how that works? So this game is pretty cool. It teaches coding. Um, these can get really complicated, I'm sure, as you go up the levels. But basically, we've got our cute little friend, Obby, here, and we're trying to get him through these mazes where he can eat all kinds of strawberries and reach the end. He gets more seeds and can plant more in his garden. Well, guys, I hope you had as much fun as I did playing with the Osmo coding set. This really blew away my expectations. I liked playing with Obby. I thought he was cute in his own very interesting way. Um, but I really liked how original the game was, and I can see why Osmo is getting so much attention for their games. Like I said when I was doing the starter kit, I really feel like they limit themselves by being only for Apple products because these aren't really cheap kits necessarily. And if you have to go out and buy an Apple iPad on top of everything, it can get costly and limit the market. That being said though, if you already own Apple products, I think this is great because it's a lot of fun. It's kind of hands-on, imaginative, problem-solving skills. That's a big one I saw with this game. And even as a grown-up, I thought it was amazing. So guys, that's it for me today. If you want more Toy Notes fun, more Toy Notes reviews, and lists, you name it, we've got it over there. Check us out at ToyNotes.com. Hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it already, and a big thumbs up is always appreciated. And until next time, see you soon.